it's been an absolutely unbelievable weekend in the Dream 11 IPL and we've had four blockbuster matches that have all had a thrilling finish. More has happened in the past two days than it has in the past two weeks and I'm still trying to get my head around things. Meanwhile, it's a great time to go and look at the points table and see how the teams are doing just after the halfway mark. The Delhi Capitals are going strong and they've maintained their position at the top of the table with 14 points. Then we've got the Mumbai Indians and the Royal Challengers Bangalore in 2nd and 3rd place respectively with 12 points each. The Kolkata Knight Riders are back on track after winning their super over encounter against the Sunrisers and they're now in 4th place. Now as we head into the bottom half, we've got some stiff competition. While the top 3 teams have sort of broken away from the rest of the pack, the 4th spot is still very much open and you've got 5 teams fighting for that one spot. Four teams are on six points each and it really is a race to the finish to see who's going to come out on top. The Sunrisers lead the bottom half only on net run rate mind you but they're in fifth place. The Kings 11 have found their way out of the bottom of the table and they sit at sixth place after they beat the Mumbai Indians in a game that'll go down in the history books. They're then followed by the Chennai Super Kings who failed to gain any traction in this tournament. Finally, the Rajasthan Royals, whose form has slumped substantially, also find that they've slumped in the points table and they're at 8th place. Well, that's a lot of information to digest, but it really is nothing compared to the action we witnessed this past weekend. Here's what's coming up on the show today. Superman had his cape on. Gubba brings his A-game to the fore. Super over. Super over and super over. It was AB De Villiers who was the first to light things up this weekend. RCB versus RR and RCB were chasing 177 for victory. They were reeling at 104 for 3 having lost Kohli and Parikal in successive deliveries and the odds were against them. But none of that mattered for Superman AB De Villiers. RCB needed 35 from the last two overs and AB put on a stellar show. He smashed three consecutive sixes in the 19th over from Jaydev Unarkat and finally finished it off in style with another maximum in the last over to hand RCB a fantastic victory. He remained unbeaten on 55 of just 22 deliveries at a strike rate of 250. Well, if you thought that was some action, it was only a teaser of what was to come in the next three games. CSK vs DC was match number 2 for the day and the Super Kings had managed to set a target of 180 for the Capitals to get. Shikhar Dhawan was in full flow and got his maiden T20 100, but the Capitals were still in trouble despite his brilliant knock. They needed 21 of the last two overs, and the penultimate over from Sam Curran went for just four runs and also fetched the wicket of Alex Carey for CSK. The Delhi Capitals now needed 17 of the final over, and MS Dhoni decided to bowl Jadeja, a left arm spinner, to two left handed batsmen in the last over. Well, as you might have expected, the decision came to bite back the men in yellow as Akshar Patel closed the game with three clean sixes and the Capitals won the game with a ball to spare. The action, however, did not end there because the next day was Super Sunday. First game, SRH vs KKR and what do we have? SRH stays in an incredible comeback after scoring 29 from the last two overs, but they needed 30 to win and on we went to the Super Over. The first of three in the day who would have known then. Unfortunately for SRH though, the super over did not go their way. Lockie Ferguson was lethal as he knocked over two SRH batsmen whilst conceding just two. KKR picked up two crucial points after they got those three runs easily. And if all of that was not enough to digest, well, there was some more action, more drama. The game that made Super Sunday extra special, the Mumbai Indians vs the Kings 11 Punjab. And the Kings 11 were cruising and looked like they'd get the 177 quite easily. But it was more lasso drama as Chris Jordan fell centimetres short of his ground while trying to complete two of the last ball. It was all too familiar for the Kings 11 as Mayank Agarwal later said that he'd got flashbacks of the game against Delhi earlier in the tournament. It was a straightforward chase that they'd made a lot more complicated for themselves. But it was time for another super over. Batting first, the Kings 11 managed 5 and it looked like a lost cause. But Mohamed Chami did not lose heart and bowled an excellent over that kept the Mumbai Indians down to just 5. The Super Over had been tied for the first time in history. We were going into the second Super Over of the same game. This time round, Mumbai batted first and the Kings 11 managed to contain Pollard and Pandya to 11 after a heroic save from Mayank Agarwal on the boundary. 
with 12 to get out walked the universe boss alongside Mayank Agarwal bowled to Gale and the first ball went sailing over long on a single came off the next and Mayank Agarwal ensured that there were no more hiccups as he closed the game with two back to back boundaries finally the kings 11 had managed to end up on the right side of a close game and you could see the relief on the faces of every single kxip player that really was a special weekend of cricket and the tournament has been lit up it's just gotten a lot more competitive out there as we get to the back end of the tournament dinesh karthik has stepped down as a skipper of the kolkata knight riders the decision came as karthik later clarified that he wanted to put greater focus on his batting For a few injury concerns especially for the Delhi Capitals they've lost Amit Mishra and Ishan Sharma for the entirety of the tournament and Rishabh Pant has been ruled out for at least a couple of weeks after he sustained a hamstring injury The Sunrisers Hyderabad will be absolutely gutted as their premier fast bowler Bhuvneshwar Kumar has been ruled out of the tournament He's going to be replaced by Prithvi Raj Yara The USA pacer Ali Khan's IPL campaign has come to a misfortunate end as well as he's been ruled out of the tournament without making his debut He is set to be replaced by Kiwi wicketkeeper batsman Tim Cypher. The orange and purple cap holders have remained unchanged for a while now. Nobody's been able to topple KL Rahul as the leading run scorer. He holds the orange cap with 525 runs at a strike rate of 135.65. Kagiso Rabada has been outstanding for the Delhi Capitals. Not only is he the leading wicket taker with 19 wickets in the season, he also became the quickest to take 50 IPL wickets. Well some mind boggling cricket has been played over the past couple of days and I can only wish for more. That's all I've got for you this week but make sure you join me next time as I explore some of the best moments that promise to unfold. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more from me. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.